Hey everyone, you may not believe what I'm about to share, but another high-ranking politician, this time Obama himself, has declared Christians need to deny Jesus Christ and his teachings. Check out this article. Just came out yesterday. It's uh, well, There's the headline. It says, Americans need to shift religious views to accept gay marriage. And if you scroll down somewhat, it says, after the Supreme Court issued its ruling on gay marriage Friday, President Obama gave a speech in which he said Americans need to change their religious views to be accepting of gay marriage. To that end, he encouraged gay marriage supporters to help people overcome their deeply held religious views. And if you scroll down a little bit more, it says those who disagree with the idea of gay marriage based, for example, on their religious views must change to be more like progressives who accept gay marriage. Okay. Mr. Obama claims to be a Christian, but the Lord Jesus, who all Christians worship, says otherwise in that he clearly said in Matthew chapter 7, verse 20, that it is by their fruits ye shall know them. Following the written word of God is the fruit of a Christian. In fact, this is what the Bible defines as overcomers time and time again. For Obama to say Christians need to change their faith or overcome just as his possible replacement Hillary Clinton said back in April, this is not the fruit of a Christian. It is the actual fruit of Satan and his followers. And according to Revelation chapter 17, verse 14, these shall make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb shall overcome them, for he is Lord of lords and King of kings, and they that are with him are called and chosen and faithful. So go ahead, Mr. Obama. Go ahead and declare Christians must overcome their deeply held religious views all you want. We will echo the exact same words of the Apostle Peter and obey God rather than man. I mean, truth is, according to the prophetic word of my Christian Bible, it is you, Mr. Obama, in your evil suggestions that the Lamb of God, who, by the way, you repeatedly slander, blaspheme, and ridicule, that will be victorious. According to the prophetic word of our God, you have already lost. In fact, 1 John chapter 5, verse 4 says, For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world, and this is the victory that overcometh the world even our faith. So how can we change our deeply held religious views in the way that you suggest? For us to overcome in the way you suggest would be the exact opposite of what Jesus suggests. We are to overcome the world, not scripture. That means that deeply held religious view that you demand we overcome is actually what you fear. Because unless we disobey our God, and obey you as you command, you and your dying God can't possibly defeat the Lamb of God, the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings. And one last thing. For those of you wondering why homosexuals keep using that rainbow as their banner of victory, you may want to see this video I did last month. And before you email me, I no longer need anyone to send me info on the blasphemous Babylonian Talmud, because that was the original reason I put up that video. I have all the proof I need to know why our God flooded the planet in Noah's day. That rainbow is Satan's way of mocking the Lord's promise that he made back then, thousands of years ago. Thank you for watching. God bless.